Hi, I'm Zach from Stencil Stop, and I'm here to show you how to use your new stencil. Our stencils are made from a durable and reusable Mylar plastic, so they're super easy to use and even reuse over and over again. Our first step is to place. You want to make sure your stencil is secure and as flush against the painting surface as possible. You can secure your stencil with some painter's tape, masking tape, or spray adhesive to avoid any paint bleeding under your stencil. Be sure to cover surrounding areas to avoid overspray and paint splatter. But before we paint, let's take a visit to the Gallery of Failure. The gallery here includes Todd, who used way too much paint. Next is Mary, who decided to spray from too far away. Barely any paint even made it onto the paper, and she wasted a lot of paint in the process. Craig sprayed way too close and didn't secure his stencil, and ended up with a lot of overspray. Now that we've seen what not to do, we can be sure to avoid these fatal mistakes. And don't be afraid to use your stencil on an old piece of cardboard or other disposable material before committing to your final project. Our next step is to paint. For using spray paint, be sure to spray about 10 to 15 inches away from your painting surface. When using any kind of paint, remember, less is more, so feel free to take it slow. For crisper lines and to avoid paint bleeding, use your hand, a chopstick, or some other utensil to hold down the parts of the stencil that might stick up while painting, especially the finer detailed areas of your design. Our last step is to peel. You want to wait a bit for the paint to dry before you pull up your stencil. You want the paint to be tacky but not wet. And just like that, we're done. For more information about different surfaces, types of paint, or anything else stencil related, check out our how-to page. Explore our DIY blogs for more creative ways to use your new skills. Thanks for watching.